Hey there, Libra. Thank you for tuning into my channel and welcome to your tarot card reading for August 2023. This reading taps into the fierce energy of Leo season. Once I lay out the cards, I'll identify their positions, go through their meanings, and do some clarifications. At the end of the reading, I'll pull a couple of oracle cards. So feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others, whatever does not. Okay, so Libra, first we see what's being illuminated this month. You have Queen of Roses. Second, we look at the past influences with the Five of Wands. Next, we see what to face head on with the Nine of Cups. Then we explore what's at the heart of the situation with the Eight of Swords. Then we identify values and perspectives for you to reflect on with the Hierophant. And finally, we reveal the potential action to take or the outcome with the Empress. At the bottom of the deck, the influencing energy of this reading, you have here the Seven of Swords. So this could be a sense of needing to do something in secret. Um, this can be seen as like the liar, stealer, cheater uh, concept. But with Eight of Swords being at the heart of the situation um, and kind of feeling like unable to really solve a problem or move forward it does kind of seem like um a need almost like a need for you to keep things to yourself or to try to maneuver some way where either you're not getting a lot of attention or um like trying not to be seen. It also could be a sense of you trying to keep the peace um, and picking up dangerous swords that other people might be involved in or you know, possibly wanting to use since you have the five of wands as the influence influences. And this is about like conflict and chaos and instability and um, even like arguments, like just really petty arguments. So let's take a look at this Queen of Roses. Um, this is a unique card in this deck and it really represents um, positivity and optimism and anything that, um, kind of like whatever the situation is. Um, very much like the Empress, which is the outcome or a potential action to take here. Um, but even more so, it's kind of like the Empress plus all the aces plus the sun. It's like anything that you could want, um, anything that you're going for, it's a good sign that you know, you'll succeed in terms of love. It's a good sign that it'll, it's happening or it will happen shortly. Um, so it seems like optimism is being illuminated uh, for you. So let's go ahead and start with the clarifications already because what's being illuminated and this empress card um it's really interesting the empress is associated with the planet of venus and the entire month of august venus will be retrograde in leo and that can show up as kind of like reflecting on relationships, rethinking ways of doing things, rethinking passions and so forth. Um, and it seems to be like optimistic for you and like it's gonna be the highlight of your month and it's kind of the, the outcome and how you're, you're actually moving through the month. So let's take a look at this Queen of Roses. We have here Ace of Cups. So Libra, it seems like, like I said, whatever it is that you are hoping for or wanting, um, you know, if it's love, it's creativity, um, if it's to feel like connected to people around you, your environment, um, it's like you have the opportunity to tap into uh, what's, in your environment what's in the universe and really um have have the best of everything and kind of 
I would say, really feel connected to yourself and, and, and definitely people around you. So let's take a look oh, at the bottom of the deck. We have the, the strength card here, um, which is associated with the sign of Leo. This is Leo season. Um, you also have here five of cups. So I would say with these cups here, there is potential to kind of see the cup as half full um, and dwell on some things in the past, but kind of accepting. It's almost like, hey, recognize that um, things are going to be working in your favor and really being optimistic and kind of, you know, accepting things as they are. If you need to work on something in the past to let it go, definitely do that. But don't be stuck there because there's more opportunities for you going forward. Um, could be like this, maybe this seven of swords is kind of like something that you are coming out of. You know, if you've got the magician under here, it could be like imposter syndrome for some of you. So let's take a look at the five of wands, these influences here. You have the seven of pentacles. So it may be that you were feeling conflicted about something or there's some either internal conflict or just conflict going on around you. Things just not really going your way and um, needing to assess things. Um, conflict and just assessing like, okay, am I even going to be able to move ahead? Is it is it just going to be conflict? Like, what's the purpose of this? Why is this like just not getting anywhere? And it just really is little minor annoyances. So for you, it kind of seems like you are, um, I mean, maybe this is all about me, but that's not the intention because uh, the Eight of Swords here, the heart of the situation of like just thinking that things are kind of like closing in. That's definitely what I've been kind of thinking about lately. But here, what to face head on is this Nine of Cups. This is like a sense of what fulfills you, making sure that you are taking care of your wants, your needs, focusing on the positive, um, and, you know, I, I would think like this Queen of Roses, this Ace of Cups, this Nine of Cups, it's going to be especially with this eight of, eight of Swords here in the heart of the situation. Um, like I said, um, Empress has to do with the uh, planet of Venus, which is, you know, rules love, beauty, attraction, grace. And so if the Eight of Swords is at the heart of the situation and Venus is retrograde um, in Leo, then it is a sense of kind of wondering if like you have the power to really accomplish the things that you normally would be able to accomplish um and with it's it is almost a sense of like how you feel really will dictate what's going on here so let's clarify the nine of cups and you have the two of pentacles so heading thing heading facing things head on with the two of pentacles it's like you have the ability to like manage the situation you can like juggle more than you need to you'll land on your feet um you might have to roll with the punches but just keep that positive outlook and know that like whatever the situation is around you if you are taking care of yourself and making sure that you are feeling good about your choices how you're communicating how you are moving through life you can just like really just you know roll with things it, it'll just it's within your grasp to manage like opposing or conflicting energies or situations so let's see about this eight of swords at the heart of the situation we have here the tower libra so it is a sense of like certain expectations that you had. Um, I know for me, sorry to bring it back to me, but it's very 
pertinent uh, to what's going on with me. I think for me, it's like, hey, moving states, moving houses, everything that goes along with it, I can make this happen. No big deal. But it's like, it's really a lot of responsibility and certain expectations, uh, kind of a belief how things are going to go, kind of crumbled. And a, a sense of like, it's more not the fact that everything is falling apart and everything's ruined. It's more of how you think about the situation. So here at the heart of the situation, um, it could have been thinking like things, you know, things are working against you, but really this month it's, it is a focus on being optimistic, being positive, um, making sure that you are focusing on your emotional health and recognizing that, um, you know, with this, <laughs> this magician here and the seven of swords, it is a sense of a imposter syndrome, but it's also like um, if there's something sinister lurking in the background, it's something that you are mentally creating. That's... Um, kind of what's going on at least that's what i'm seeing here so the bottom of the deck we have the two of swords and feeling like uh, you can't make any decisions because you're trying to get all the information it's really just a sense of um just dealing with what's there and moving forward like the two of swords is just make a decision it's not going to be the worst decision it's not going to be the best decision it's not going to be um life saving or life ending and it might you know not resolve everything but just just make it happen so let's take a look at the hierophant which is uh, represents the values and perspectives for you to reflect on this month so this has to do with like maybe institutions organizations, rules. I know for me, I've been dealing with a lot of rules. Again, I think this is uh, the most I've noticed a Libra reading um, being more speaking to me than maybe to all of you, but maybe you're having this situation. Uh, whatever's going on, feeling like the rules are working against you, and it could be that... Um, it's almost possibly how rules are <laughs> meant to be broken or are more of a guideline as opposed to actual make or break it type of thing. So, you know, for it's like the traditional way of things happening, you know, um, or just kind of, you know, possibly even needing to talk to, um, to someone. So let's take a look at this Hierophant. We have here the Three of Cups. So here, it's almost like if you are a stickler for rules, um, really surround yourself with, with people that are going to lift you up. If you're like really bogged down by this is the way things need to be done, or um, this is the road that you have to take, um, or even a sense of like, if this has to do with needing to study for an exam or like um, being, what's it called? Feeling like whatever institutional power there is, if you feel bogged down by it, it's a sense of like, just let that go, have some, some fun with friends and maybe even wonder like not wonder but ask yourself when's the last time you actually um took time to connect with your friends like in terms of like your day the rituals that you set up throughout your day how often do you kind of say oh i'll, I'll put that off later i'll talk to my friends later um so that's kind of what i'm picking up there uh, and then at the bottom of the deck here, we have the death card and queen of wands. So it's almost a sense of like some type of transformation, some kind of major change that you're going through or will be going through, especially with this tower here, is possibly affecting your mojo or has affected your mojo, where it's like you, um, you feel like you haven't been able to make your magic happen like you have been in the past so it's a sense of like 
really focusing on your yourself, like being more optimistic, being more like uh, attentive to your needs, your wants, and uh, really reassessing or reflecting on, um, you know, things that are things that you kind of learn about how you're supposed to do things in life and then just get cut and loose and like having some fun with your friends. So here, the outcome or potential action to take with the Empress is really to um, enjoy what's around you, um, you know, have that scoop of ice cream, that hot dog, if you, your body's been craving it, or, um, you know, have your alone time and have some coffee. Um, sorry, this these cards wanted to fall out here. We have the lover's card and the, the four of cups. So I'll go ahead and just note them. Um, but I do think it's, it is interesting. The lovers is about like kind of showing up and making a decision to commit to something. And the four of cups is like really being checked out. So it does seem like this month is um, giving you the opportunity to, to kind of flip things around, like flip the switch on what's going on with your life. Um, and almost like come back to the world of the living almost. So let's see about this Empress card here. We have the lovers, okay, meant to be. Um, and at the bottom, we have the Hermit and Five of Wands. Five of Wands is over here. So it does seem like for a lot of you, maybe you've been um, hiding your, yourself, you've been doing things where you feel like you need to, um, like you're not seen. Maybe you don't feel like you need to not be seen, but you're kind of been on your own journey and dealing with your own issues. Um, and this month, really decide what is for, um, well, first of all, be more optimistic. Decide, you know, what you're gonna do based on taking care of your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, and really um, uh, embracing that concept of of Leo, of being more playful, more creative, uh, more confident, more um, like, I want to say like courageous and recognize like this is all like part of you, this tower transformation, um, this empress, it's all part of you like recognizing that a lot of what is going on in your life and how you deal with it comes from how you treat yourself and how you, um, how you enjoy life and you kind of are grateful for what's around you and make decisions based on your best and highest good and ready to kind of show up and um, participate in in life and for others of you it is a sense of with the ace of cups here being illuminated um, really work on that um, what you feel makes you confident and feel good about yourself and a new love potential is going to come in, up and regardless of whatever happens if, if it seems like you're unsure about how people feel about you or like maybe some dates might go badly it seems like you are moving towards something of a genuine uh, connection with someone here so I'm going to go ahead and close off this reading with a couple of oracle cards. And let's take that one. This can provide some insight on your love life or something that you've been working towards. So here you have my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So for those of you who are kind of looking for love and kind of wondering when that's going to happen, um, maybe blow off some steam with your friends uh, and focus on your own happiness and what makes you feel good. And uh, it looks like the lovers is around the corner. Then you have Palm 
and destiny. So for those of you who are feeling like things are taking too long, that you don't have the ability to um, have any control over it, maybe letting things happen and recognize the control that you do have is your attitude and embracing this queen of roses is really, um, if you want to be recognized and stand out in a crowd being optimistic, um, recognizing your beauty, your abundance, your ability to have things go your way is, you know, what you can have control over and know that the universe is working uh, for your benefit. So Libra, I hope this reading provides a helpful perspective of your month. We'll see you next time. Take care.